What's happening guys? Craig here with a another pickup video. It's been three three week, a good three week I believe, since I did a, a pickup video where I had the 100 subscriber contest which if you haven't seen again congratulations to Craig's here again. I promise you if you're watching this video now I haven't sent your items yet. I will get round to it. I literally I need to look on my laptop for messages, private messages. I don't believe you can view them on your mobile phone. So I will get round to look, pr that's providing you've even sent me your address, I hope you have. Um, and I'll get your items sent off as soon as. Um, but yeah, that went quite well. I had quite a few entrants in that and quite a few views, so that's good. Got me a few new subs, I'm up to 108 I believe now. So all is good in the hood. I have pickups. Uh, I've got a few things first I just want to mention um, with regards to channels. Channels, I've tried to mention channels, I've been watching newer ones I've kind of found. They probably won't be new to you but they'll have been, well they've definitely been around for a while these guys. Um, I just didn't know of them, I've kind of found them so and started watching quite a bit of their content. So first and foremost we've got Cyber Snake 7 which is Jay, I'm sure all you guys know of. Uh, really cool guy, he's um, got quite the collection. He's into very much similar stuff that I am, i.e. Star Wars, collecting pickups and such. And he's into quite a lot of stuff I'm unaware of, i.e. he does a lot of laser disc purchasing. I know nothing about laser discs, literally zilch. The first I've I've heard of them, the first I've seen of, of laser discs is Jay's channel. He basically he bought some Star Wars laser discs. I mean I know nothing about them but they still look pretty cool. They're like box set and stuff, they look they look very nice, very nice indeed. Um so yeah he does a lot of pickups with regards to video games and, and that kind of stuff. So check his channel out. I will hopefully link it in the uh, comments below. Um, Novabug, again another one I haven't really heard of until the YouTuber of the month kind of switched over because I watched Slope's Game Room. He had the uh, YouTuber of the month and he's kind of passed it on to Novabug. So I kind of follow him now and check all his videos out. Funny guy, he does uh, some very good editing with his stuff. Um, yeah, check check his channel out. I don't think I've seen, since I've started watching, I don't think I've seen any pickup videos. I'm sure he does do them, but um, I've only started watching in the last couple of weeks. So. But yeah, he does the YouTuber of the month now. He presents that, so check his channel out. That's worth looking at. And last but not least, uh, Purple Game Room, which is Lucy, a girl by the name of Lucy. She does a lot of pickup videos and um, she does like top five, her like top five best games on the N64 and such. Again, I've only just started watching her since um, I think I did my subscriber video. She commented on there, and then obviously I checked her out, her channel out, and, and liked what I saw. So, yeah, check Lucy out. She's got some cool stuff and some awesome pickups. So, yes, again, I will hopefully link them in the comments below. So, uh, other than that, oh, yes, I made a note because I've been meaning to show these for freaking weeks. I, I got for Christmas, I showed, I think I showed some Christmas pickups I managed to get, but I didn't show these, these are from, I'm sure you can gather where we're going with this, um, these are from my brother-in-law, he kindly bought me these for Christmas, and I think they are awesome, they're not video game related, well they kind of are, because it's Pokemon, but yeah, I think they are sweet as they are basically the Pokemon um, gym badges. For the first, I'm going to be really bad because I'm a massive Pokemon fan, but I can't remember the name of the first city where Ash gets all these these first badges from. Ah, well, the first, not city, the first kind of country. Because he goes around all different cities to get these from. The region, what is it? Kanto? Kanto region? I don't know, correct me if I'm wrong, but yeah, basically all the badges. I'm not going to know them all either. You've got your water, and so on and so forth. I think that's the rainbow one. But yeah, they are awesome. Very cool indeed. Um, 
So yeah, made up to have those. I've been meaning to show you, and as you can see, you might have noticed I've kind of taken my SNES games away. With the natural sunlight coming through in this room now, I kind of didn't want them getting damaged. So I've sacrificed the GameCube games. They've not been in the sun, they've been out of the sun, so I'm just going to kind of switch things over. And with us potentially moving as well, I've kind of boxed all the SNES stuff away for the time being. Hopefully they're going to be stored under there once I get another cabinet for the under E storage. Um, and I will show, kind of show that, of course that's protected from the sun of course, so I'll show that off once that occurs, if I don't move. Um, so yeah, the badges. So, to pickups, let's get on with that. I've got quite a few bits actually, um, since I have last shown you any. Um, so we'll start with these. This is a Mega Drive bundle. Managed to get off a guy named Sam on a, one of the Facebook pages. He had a bundle of games and I managed to get them for £35. I had Batman completing box in there with them, um, which I moved on for £10. So that's no longer with me. So there, these games obviously amount to like £25 without the Batman. So £25 for these, I think it's decent, the boxes are not in the best condition I won't lie, um, they've seen better days, but there's some good titles, I can potentially swap them out for like your winter sports or do you know what I mean, like a less choice of your title I suppose. We're going to start with Terminator 2, um, like I say the boxes are a bit beat up and there's not many manuals with them, you've got your game and your case. I'm basically gonna add onto the, like your eBay search, you know, for the manuals for these because they're not they're not all complete. But yeah, still good to have for twenty five pound. I think you let me know. I've, I've looked on eBay searches and the, these games like added up kind of go for more than that. I think. Uh, we've got Street Fighter Two Champion Edition. I haven't got any Street Fighter game for the Mega Drive, so made up to have that. Again, this one is just your case and cart. Not in the worst, I've seen worse, but I've also seen better. Like I say, I can just hopefully swap the sleeves out and they'll be okay. Um, we've got Another World, I haven't got any of these games. Um, another World. This one's probably the worst out of the lot, case wise. Um, again, no manual. I don't know what the previous owner did with these manuals up their ass or whatever, I don't, <laughs> I, don't, I don't get how you can, I suppose you can read a manual fucking chuck it, annoying as shit, uh, yes the only complete one is Batman Forever, these will all be staying in the collection like I say I haven't got them so I'm made up to have this one because I've got Batman and Batman Returns, I've now got Batman Forever, there is another pricier title, I believe it's Batman and Robin, um, this one is complete so made up that that one is. If I would have chose which ones to have complete, it would have been this one anyway. So probably Street Fighter. Um, and the next one. Um, but yeah, so that one, awesome to have that complete. And last but not least, this one is a more pricier one, I believe. Captain America and the Avengers. Again, just the cart. But just the cart alone for this game is quite a bit, I believe. Um, so yeah, this isn't too bad. This isn't in, in bad condition at all, but... I suppose with the Avengers being relevant at the moment, that's probably why this game is up there price-wise. But yeah, um, so that's five games, £25, £5 each. It's not too bad. So, not so bothered about not having the manuals. I will, I'm sure they'll come up on eBay and I'll snap them up for a couple of quid. Um, video game shop on a Friday. I managed to get a SNES game I've been after for a while and an NES game. Um, no. Sorry about that guys, um, camera ran out of space, I didn't sort my storage out properly. I never have to edit these videos so this is going to really piss me off. Um, where did we get? Um, video game shop, Friday, I managed to pick up Aladdin, completing box. You will have seen I got this loose not so long since in the SNES haul I got. Um, I got rid of that as I do with usually all of my loose games apart from a couple of beauties at Mega Man and such. Um, Got rid of this, didn't want the loose copy, wanted it complete, didn't cost too much, £25, so I managed to get, I think, 10, 
10 or 12 pounds for the loose copy so a bit of eBay money towards and I managed to get the complete version I'm not gonna go well uh, let me show it quickly 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 because I've still haven't got much storage left so as you can see all complete in box nice not the mintiest but it'll do it'll pass um, Aladdin and then I went back a week later Friday video game shop I spent 33 pound on Donkey Kong 64 complete I hadn't had uh, N64 title for a long time so that was nice again complete in box uh, manual game and everything there I'm not gonna mess with this for long hopefully that all goes back together I'll leave that there and NES open I got both them two for 33 pounds which was nice I believe that's decent Donkey Kong 64 can go for quite a bit last but not least <clears throat> this came about on uh, through a friend a lot of my friends know I collect video games so they always look out for me this friend sent me a few images on whatsapp and he's like I've got no someone who's selling this for £150 are you interested I'm like yeah but not £150 I managed to whittle him down to 100 quid, and it is Game Boy Advance SP limited edition Zelda Minish Cap um, complete in box the box has seen better days but uh, I've seen worse ones I've seen better but I've seen worse it's probably midway uh, the console itself is reasonable enough um, again you get a few surface scratches all the time with these ones because they were kept in bags and pockets and such um, but the inside is quite nice course it everything works it says switching it on and it not doing anything um, we've got the game as well which is decent enough and all the manuals it's all in there the only thing that isn't is the innards which is a bit of an annoyance but I can make some I suppose throw some together I'm not gonna be selling this anyway so but that was a hundred pounds you might think that's a bit steep, but I got five other Game Boy Advance games with that loose cashes, which I didn't want because I, I had a few of them anyway, the Pokemon ones. Um, I sold them for £35. So, in effect, I got this for £65. It's um, so obviously I drew the money that I got for them. So, yeah, I'm happy with that £65. There's a few on there at the moment on your Flea of the Bay going for 100 150 quid. There's a couple listed at 200 minty ones few bids in there for the 150 ones so I've done well there at 65 I believe which is nice so I do like my consoles uh, my handheld sorry so that's I'm happy to have that in the collection like I say I'm not gonna waffle on because I've got uh, not enough memory to do that uh, Blackpool hopefully I'm gonna be in Blackpool um, we'll see depending on how funds are because I'm going on a holiday on June 1st so all dependent on whether I can make it fun wise and stuff and whether I'm busy or not Hopefully I'll see you, some of you guys there. Um, birthday pickups, there's birthday pickups video, my birthday last week, birthday pickup video coming next week sometime hopefully. So um, I will look forward to doing that and putting that up. So thank you very much guys for watching, hopefully I haven't gone on too long. Um, and yeah, peace out.